Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Gio from SwitchRPG.com. Today, I have something a little bit different here. Obviously, you can see RPG Maker MV, and you can tell probably by the title in the video description, I am playing a user-submitted content, Kingdom of Neandria. I had a user po um, ask on a post uh, if I would try out their game, and I said, yeah, I would try it. I've, I've wanted to try some of this stuff on RPG Maker. There are bunch there's a, a lot of user submitted content here and some of it's great I, I really need to get into it so again I had no idea where to go and here we go we had a user um, submit a game for me so yeah let's dive in all right let's check out where to play so I obviously I haven't downloaded it, so let's, let's go to the maker forum here submissions download list all right, it is called Kingdom of Neandria. Where is my cursor here? There we go. Nope, nope, there we go. Title, I don't know if I have to type in everything. I don't know if it looks for like keywords. Let's find Kingdom first. Let's see if what happens here. There we are. Look at that. All right, so uh, hit that there. So genre action, exploration, comedy, serious. Let's download it. Bang. All right, we made it. Um, I also want to point out there is a different way to search for it. You can use the game ID, and it looks like the game ID, as you see it right there, is 405. All right, so comments. No random encounters. No world map. Begin as Philo, maybe? Awakened in the end, in the dead of night by your daughter, who is sick with mysterious illness, speaking in an indecipherable tongue. The problem? Your daughter was born a mute. Set out on a quest of epic proportions to discover the cause of your daughter's condition and the foul magic that seems to underlie it. So you can find... Uh, the uh, social media at uh, on Twitter K N or uh, K Neandria. All right, so let's uh, let's get back, go back to that main screen there. Let's play it. Let's go. Get on with it. All right. Considering I've never played this, let's check out some of the options here. Always dash, command remember. Uh, we got some basic sound settings. Me cam foe. Say what? This must be the undecipherable language. Incoherent speech. This is Lydia. Okay. Lydia, is is that you? running in there. Lydia, baby, wake up! Lydia! And she's back to sleep? Alright. Yes, it seems her condition has worsened, and she spoke in her sleep. What exactly did she say? It was just nonsense, really. But how is that even possible? She's never been able to utter a sound. That's one of my unresolved puzzles at hand. Philo, your daughter's condition has always been unusual. However, these last couple of weeks, her sudden illness, that of the apparent delirium, and now this latest development, I fear that this may be beyond even my expertise. What does that mean? 
You should keep giving her the medications that I provided you with during my last visit. It seems... It seems to have kept the fever at bay, and the sores on her body don't appear to have... Don't appear to have spread any further. But I think... Goodness. I don't... I don't know quite how to put this. I believe there may be some kind of foul magic at work here. Magic? Like she's been cursed? It's only one hypothesis, but we need to consider all the possibilities. I will have to research it some more to know definitely. I don't typically deal with patients suffering from such afflictions. But why would you suggest that, Doctor? Have you ever known of such magic? Not quite like this. However, a couple months ago, back in Riverwood, I did see a boy afflicted with symptoms that I might describe as similar. What? What symptoms? The sores, the fevers, the delirium. What happened to him? Strangely, he disappeared. I woke up one morning and he had simply vanished. The boy, the boy vanished? That's what I've been told. One of our merchants passed him coming into town that morning. He tried calling out to the boy, but his pleas went completely ignored. What of the boy's parents? He didn't have any. He had come from the orphanage. His parents abandoned him there years earlier. Nobody really knew who the scoundrel were. And that's what made you suspect involvement of magic in the boy's condition? Well, truth is, I hadn't suspected that until I arrived here today. Why is that? Because of Lydia's utterances last night? Precisely. The boy had woken, had been crippled his entire life. He had ever walked a single day until that morning, when he seemingly walked right out of existence. What? Phyla, I think we need to see the village elder. You've mentioned him in the past. There is a witch doctor nearby. I'd like to inquire with her myself, but I must be returning to Riverwood now. I will try and seek out more information from my contact at the academy. I know that time is very precious. I'm inclined to recommend that you consort with her as quick as we are quickly running out of alternatives. Good day, Philo. Estrias. Estrias? Be safe, Doctor. Hopefully, you're aware of the monsters that have been sighted on the roads lately. You really should have you really shouldn't have traveled here alone. I'm aware. Thank you, but I'll be fine. Farewell, gentlemen. Godspeed. He's right. You need to go to the Feraline Woods and see the Witch Doctor. But as you know, of course, I wouldn't dare seek her aid without getting approval from the village elder. Don't worry about leaving Lydia. I'll stay with her. Thank you, Father. No need for that. You still have the sword and shield that I gave you all those years ago. Yes, but I can't risk staining those. They were a wedding gift. Nonsense. Below, I'm old, not senile. I haven't forgotten when or why I gave them to you. They may be a family heirloom, but it was never my intention for them to lie around just collecting dust. I told you, my dear Vicent Vicentia, that I'd give them to the man she chose to marry as protection for her and their future children. And now, now is that time. It's what she would have wanted, and you know it. So go fetch, go fetch them from your room or wherever you keep them, and head up to speak with the village elder. You will certainly know what you mean. But you will certainly, you will certainly know you mean business. Now off with you, Philo. All right, I am going to use the D-pad. Got to find this sword and shield. Where is it? You want to put that always dash on. Huh. Map of the entire world as popularity imagined. Of course, no one can be certain of its accuracy. You pick up one of your favorite books off the shelf and tell Superstitions of Neandria. Shall you take a brief glance? Yeah, sure. You flip to a random page and start reading. Superstition 874. Not only is it considered poor etiquette to walk into a neighbor's house unannounced, 
Many believe that entering on the left side of the doorway is the harbinger of misfortune. Huh? Why do I ever buy this rubbish? I guess I'll have to test that theory. Alright, well, we're not going to test that right now. Uh, let's go down. I, I must have missed it somewhere. Let's, let's check out all these things. Where's my sword? Oh, it's right there. Duh! Family shield? Oh, I missed that. Don't forget the equip. Of course not. Ah, yes. The epic music. Alright, uh, no. How do I... Alright, so that is X. Go to inventory. Weapon. How do I make sure that that's... Equipped? Uh, perhaps go to the equip menu. Geo. Um, yeah, let's put that right Bingo, bango! Alright, cool. Let's go to the village elder. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. Options. Always dash. Oh, it's like frozen. Alright, cool. Yeah, it just walks a little too slow. I mean... This next, this dashing might be too fast, but Kingdom of Neandria. I hope I'm saying that right. Rosedale. Cool. And we're back. Oh no, that's that's actually a great speed. Definitely recommend playing it that way. All right, so the village elder looks like a shop there. Oh, that's quite a. Quite a big world here. Quite a big town. Oh, hey. These guys. Slow down. Slow, slow it down. Alright, is he... Is he... Where is he? Where would he be? Oh, you hear the sound of running water come from beneath your feet. Hmm. This looks elderish. Nope. Sorry about your daughter, Philo. I said a prayer to all of the gods and the goddesses for her this morning with Father Pothearts. If there's anything that Glenn or I can do, please do not hesitate to ask. Alright, well, can I have this shield? No. Hey, what's worth asking? Alright, we need the village elder, village elder. That looks very churchy. We gotta go to the right side, right? You're not an elder. Hmm. <laughs> you can pet the cat. There's no dogs, though. Alright, maybe, maybe he is in here. I, it just seemed really obvious, but... You look up and wonder at the striking beauty of the goddess. Her... Ermelines, and feel a juvenating force rush through your loins. Would you like to save? Yeah, sure. Cool. We will save there. There we go. Alright, we gotta find this village elder. What does this say? Gala sisters? Well, obviously that's not where we need to go. Maybe here? She could be the village elder. Nope, feel it, dear. I know you've had your hands full of late, but may I trouble you for a small favor? Ah, side quest, nice. Ah, oh, wonderful. Now, this request might sound odd, but I'm looking for someone to bring me my favorite flower. You know which one that is, don't you, dear? Um, no, I don't. Ah, oh, dear, you really have no idea which flower I'm talking about, do you? Ah, and here I suppose that you knew old lady Grand better than that. Oh, she is mad. I'm talking about Geminos, Philo. Those pretty little blue ones that tend to grow on the edge of small cliffs. All you have to do is bring me three. 
and I'll make it worth your while. Oh, boy. Well, it's great. We found uh, Old Lady Grand. But that's not what we wanted. Are you a village elder? No. I heard the young guardsman who died recently was sent with Glenn to the Sunrise Temple in the east. The large boulders that fell and killed him. Oh, no. Still have been cleared from the road. Why would the village under elder send them there anyway? I don't know. Is he up there? You're not a village elder. I mean, I probably should talk to you, but I am on a mission. I came from there. The door is locked from the other side. Fine. Oh, it's Kubi, obviously. Did I go? Did I? Did I go in here? Are you the village elder? No. Did you know that it was Kiramecki, our village elder, whose great grandfather founded this village? Oh, Philo! I didn't see you. That was you. Of course. Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. Have I been in here? How did I not go in here? Greetings, Philo. Philo? I've said that like at least five different times. Father, I... I think I know why you're here. Taps, it's about young Lydia. Yes, Father. The doctor from Riverwood believes that she may be suffering from... A cursed magic of some kind. I've come to seek your permission to enter the Feraline Woods. I intend to visit the Witch Doctor. This is very serious. And do you suspect that she is in some way connected to your daughter's recent troubles? Not really, Father. I know her manner of living is unconventional and the magic arts she practices outside the bounds of Neandrian law, but... We've never known her to be an issue to uh, issue for Rosedale. That's correct. On the contrary, she has helped us out on a number of occasions, our recent monster problem notwithstanding. And when your dear Vicentia... Yes, yes, I know, Father. She did her best to save Vicentia. That was 12 years ago. I've never harbored any animosity towards her, nor blamed her for the way that Lydia turned out. Indeed, Lydia was a strong baby. She is a strong girl, like her mother was. And now, my son, you trust that witch, that the witch doctor may be able to help save your daughter? Not trust, father. I simply have no other choice. The doctor, as brilliant as he is, has proven entirely ineffective at finding a cure, much less a cause. In fact, it was he who suggest suggested that I... You don't need to justify yourself any further, Philo. I grant you permission to enter the woods. Inspector Nico, one of you, come in here, please. Where are they coming from? Huh? What the heck? Whoa, what? Village Elder, sir. Inspector reporting for duty. Nico here, Village Elder, sir. I need one of you to report to guard on watch at the Feraline Woods. Let him know the Philo may pass through. It is a matter of utmost urgency. Yes, sir. Spectre. We'll see that. See to it right away, sir. Nico is on it, sir. Consider the matter settled. Okay, I'll handle this. Nico? I admire your gumption, Spectre, but there is no need for your services here. In fact, Nico, it was I who first agreed to take this task of highest importance upon myself. Unless my ears have begun holy to wholly fail me. I believe the village elder only called for one of us. And unless I am utterly mistaken, I, it was my name he called at first. The foremost shall be the rearmost. Is that is that not what our holy sages once spoke? 
You do our sages an injustice. Alas, I have no doubt that the village elder would prefer you stay on watch here at his house while I... Silence, he says. Shuddy. It doesn't matter which one of you does it. Both of you can go for all I care. Just see to it now. Huh. <laughs> Wait here. There's something that I have for you before you go. Ooh. Please bear with me a moment. Is it a ring? A special ring. Tell me. Just do it quicker. Sometimes I envy you, young folk. Yes, yes just hurry it up. You, you want me to get... Just tell me where it is. This old horse can no longer... This old horse no longer has the swiftness of the movement that he once had. <laughs> He's sleeping. <laughs> but it, but tis as Rev Reverend Potharts always preaches, I suppose. What's that? I hear you asking. He ain't saying it. Patience is a virtue unto itself, is it not? Surely you would agree, would you not, Philo? Philo! Oh boy. <laughs> he's up, he's up, he's up, he's up. Yes, Father. I'm here. Dear gods, take me already. This is for the la for this is for last month. Oh, monies. The trees you cut down in the forest. Ah, I had forgotten about that. It's yours to do as you please. However, I suggest that you visit the shops and stock up on anything you might need before you venture out. You won't survive too long out there if you're not properly equipped. Understood, Father. One more thing. Of course. Don't go alone. As you know, the Feraline Woods haven't been their, haven't been their quiet selves lately. I believe Glenn, Hestanes, and that new girl, Nara, is it? They should be returning from a hunt soon. I strongly advise that you take a companion along with you. Maybe the girl. She seems to have proven herself quite capable since she, since she and her brother have arrived. Besides, I'd like to get your opinion of her. M my opinion? Is that too much to ask of you? I value the insights of anyone with a decent head on their shoulders. Whether that be from Estrius, the good reverend, Old Lady Gran, Glenn, or you, Philo. You should know that by now. Thank you, Father. Now go, and be careful. All right, we're off. Let's do this. Wait, there's like, there's like all sorts of armors and stuff. Can I just take some of this? Honestly, I wouldn't have to purchase anything. Just don't give me the money. Just give me the stuff that's on the walls. All right, let's go buy some stuff. Looks like maybe an armor, a weapons shop here. What do we have here? Let's look back here. There's a basement. I see the basement. What's in the basement? First. What? Are you harboring children down here? What's going on? Oh, I see a chest. One iron ingot. Sweet. Um, I'm not gonna question the children in the basement right now. Seems perfectly normal. Alright, cool. Hey, Philo. What's it gonna be today? I'd like to buy. How much money do I have? 300 Palos. Ooh, a horse whip. Alright, what, what do I have here? Iron sword. Do I have an iron sword? I think that's what I have. Should probably check that, right? Maybe because it's equipped, I can't sell it. Um, let's take a look at it. Equip. Family sword. So it does 13. Attack. Magic attack. Luck. Okay. Alright, I do need, actually, do need a headpiece for armor. Headpiece for armor right here. 
right here. What else we got? Dang, there's quite a bit of stuff here. Ooh, here we go. Magic attack, magic defense. Some look. Alright, let's take a peek at this. I think we're gonna buy the iron helmet. Bingo! Obviously, we can afford a lot less now, but maybe we should, um... Maybe buy some healing items. Let's go to equip. You. Equip. Head. Bam! Alright, let's go to the other shop. Ah, finally a customer. Step right up. Alright, let's buy... Okay. Um, I made it. 250 HP seems like quite a bit. 100 HP. I can buy a lot more of these. I can buy like a few of those. Alright, let's... I'm gonna bring more people. Oh yeah. Going big time now. I didn't buy anything else. Screw it. Well, give me more monies. What did you got in the basement? First, I need to add spices, then cook until the oil separates. Oh, Philo, sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Okay. Who is, who is you? Papa works all day, every day. All right. So maybe this isn't, there isn't more to the story. These are just their houses as well as their shops. Well, that's good because my mind went somewhere else. not going to the inn. I guess we gotta find the peoples, right? They said they were coming down. Do I go down? Hey, feel sorry. I can't let you pass orders from the village elder, you know. It's for the best with the recent monster infestation. Wait a minute. I thought I could go. I gotta find that help. That's what it was. Whoa. But where, where are these people? I don't think it told me where to go with for those people. Let's see here. Inventory. Looking for some sort of log. It doesn't say what the quest is. Nope. Wait, he said oh okay. I was gonna say he said he was gonna be watching. Alright, looks like I gotta find it some uh, some teammates, so let's see what we can do here. Kubi, was that one of them? Hey! Where you going? Nobody's going up to my son's room. What's wrong with you? Have you no respect for the dead? Aw. My apologies, sir. Yes. What about that? Is this, is this the dude that got crushed? Could that place really be connected to the recent monster attacks? Why the need to be so secretive? My dear boy. Kirameki still won't tell me what business he had sending my son to the Sunrise Temple with Glenn. Could that place really be connected? Okay, yes, we, we already said this. It repeated that twice, right? Is that what it said? Anyway, let's go. This is not where we need to be. Yeah. I'm assuming I need to find a younger person than that. That person looks old. Maybe in this sister's house here. You there. You don't want to talk. Okay. Fine. I'll go upstairs. Oh, hello. My sister seemed to think that Rosedale is the greatest place in the world. What else has she known? If you ask me, there's not... There, if you ask me, there aren't enough handsome men around here. No offense, Philo. Um, none taken. Let's go down. Oh, it's a box full of old gowns. Wait, 40 palos. Look at that. 
nothing, nothing down there. All right, let's give a few more. Actually, can we go this way? Oh, we can. Cool. Oh, those guys are upset. Yeah, more, more, more water. Ah, uh, yes, this is where the dude got crushed. That's not good. We'll get to that once we're stronger. What do you got to say? How did those two ever get quartered at the village elder's residence anyway? I don't know what business you have in the Fairlene woods, but if Elder Karameki says it's permitted, I won't try and stop you. Ah, there they are. Well, oh, that is going way too fast. Well, well, what is going on here? Captain, I'm glad to see you return. Yes, Captain. I was just telling Spectre here not to worry that you'd be back soon. Anything to report? Sir, no, sir. All has been quiet around here except... Except... Bilo. Bilo, what, what are you doing here? The village elder, Captain. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> Permitted him entry into the Fairlene Woods. Yes. Yes, you see, I think... The Doris. There you are. Ah, great. Here comes Pops, Glenn. Huh. You're in... What? Glenn, my boy, I see that you've returned from the hunt. And safely, too. Thank the gods. But where is your older brother? Wasn't Histane supposed to accompany you on today's hunt? Huh. I don't feel so well. Histane's? Dad? Glenn? The doors? What's going on? Oh boy. They've been drinking? Hate him and his saints didn't go on the hunt this morning. Yeah, uh, the thing is, I, uh, I was waiting for you at the chapel all morning, the Doris. We were supposed to have a session. A session? The old man is training my brother to be a priest. Don't scholars or priests usually go to the academy to get accredited? Look around, hun. Do people in this village look like the types who can afford to put their kids through a school of that stature? Besides, not everyone who gets licensed to use magic comes out of the academy anyway. I'm sorry, Pops. Histanes wasn't feeling well, and so I thought it'd be fun to join Glenn in his stead. Do you think we still have time to go over that healing art that you mentioned the other day? Are you serious about becoming a priest, or would you rather that your brother taught you the ins and outs of soldiery? Soldiery? No, wait. The priesthood is my call. Okay, then. Why did the goddess of Delinos cut off and eat her husband's feet? What? She was angry that she was angry that he was late and missed her son's blossoming ceremony. And she envied Bulkin's fleetness of foot. And why did the goddess Ifra heal Bulkin's lameness when he petitioned her for the fifth time? Oh boy. Ay, ay, ay. Don't you remember anything that I've instilled in you? These stories confuse me, Pops. There's so many gods and goddesses, dramas and affairs. It's not about the stories, Thedoras. Like I've taught you and your brothers since you were young, there's a deeper meaning behind them. And you have a lot to learn. Yet before we can begin to study the magic arts, let's go to the chapel. First, we'll discuss your little escapade with Glenn, then perhaps I will teach you about heal magic. Not feeling well enough to participate in the hunt today, huh? What is it this? What What is... I'm sorry, what is it this? What is this, Histane? The third time this month? And I suppose you found the cure for your illness at the pub, as usual. Hmm? 
I don't know what, he, what could possibly possess you to venture into Feralene Woods right now, Philo. But good luck, and Godspeed. Don't worry, older brother. Pops will get over it. He always does. Ugh. Not feeling well. Oh, boy. Yep. Right into the tree. We've all had that time. Hungry? Uh, no. Sleepy? Yes. Very hungry. Very sleepy. He's gonna... There we go. And he's gone. So, how about this voyage into the woods that the village elder sanctioned? Mind filling me in? I need to see the witch doctor. I think the source of Lydia's sickness may be magic, and she's currently the best shot at finding a cure. Magic? Could it have anything to do with the appearance of monsters around these parts lately? When did you first notice that your daughter was ill, Philo? Two weeks or so? Hmm. The monsters started coming around before that. Maybe about a month ago. Yeah, it was shortly before you, you arrived in the village, Nara. How was it in the woods? The place is totally infested with foul beasts. All the game has been chased out or changed. Changed? We ran into some... Karasu and Kinkajus and Kinkatars, no woodland goblins, fortunately. They seem to be, they seemed infused with magic. How do you mean? They're massive, much larger than any Karasu or any Kinkaju that I've ever seen. And they don't die. What? You can kill them, but more seem to continuously, continually spawn out of nowhere. There's something very strange about strange going on below. That being said, they're, they're probably nothing you can't handle. Still, I wouldn't go alone in there. Shall I send Spectre or Nico, Nico with you? Oh boy, they're sweating it. About that, Elder Kirameki suggested that I bring Nara with me. Me? Why me? I think that's a good sign, Nara. You... You want to be a permanent resident here, right? Our elder must be testing your loyalty. Ros Rosdellian folk tend to have one another's backs. He wants to see what you are, or aren't, willing to do for others. Well, when you put it that way, the sooner my brother and I can get out of the inn, the better. So fine. I'll go with you, Philo. Sorry, I don't... I know we haven't really spoken much since you and your brother arrived. Are you sure you're okay with going back in there with me? I can handle myself as... I can handle myself just fine as long as you can lead us there. You know the Ferline Woods far better than I do, or so I would assume. I don't know them quite as well as I did when I was a boy, but I should be able to navigate us to the Witch Doctor. BAM! Nara, you're back, finally! And she's leaving. Tampa, what's up? You can finally show me those combat moves. But sis, you promised to show me today when you got back. Tampo, I have to leave again. But I'll return before you know it, and then I'll show you how to steal a green herb off a Kikachu. Huh? I've already... I've been waiting for the last three hours. Can't you show me real quick? Come on, Nara. Let's see this steel technique. I know Spectre and Nico are dying for some action. Why don't you try it on one of them? Eh? Captain, sir. It is truly an honor to be considered by you as a worthy choice and an all-important task of rearing this fine young lad. That being said, sir, I am obliged to always be honest with you. And if I may speak freely, Captain, sir... You may speak free. Sir, it is a firm belief that Nico here is far more suitable an alternative for this particular demonstration. If I may also be permitted to speak freely, sir. Sure, sure, sure. Go ahead. Sir, 
I must protest against his claim that I am more suitable alternative, as he put it. On what grounds? <clears throat> a man as, how can I say this without giving an air of pretension? A man as selfless and unattached to his profession as I am, regardless of the relative, if not infinite, worth of these possessions can hardly have anything stolen from this person. For whatever reason, the thief might come away with. A man such as myself would mercilessly consider a loss equivalent to an act of munificence. Not at all different from giving alms to a vagabond. Surely then, my dear captain, you understand that a steel ability, or whatever craft this wily huntress may boast, will almost certainly prove ineffective against me. Spectre, on the other hand, listen to the nonsense that <laughs> this high felaton windbag spews from forth from his debauched mind. The one, the one item of moderate value that Nico might possess is his dignity, gained only from serving under a captain as noble as yourself, sir. But even that, admittedly, cannot be stolen, as he freely gives it up himself as dignity. Oh, boy. Enough, you two. Philo, Philo, doesn't have the time for this, and neither do I. However, I do admire your passion. In fact, I want to see that same energy and confidence from the both of you during Nara's demonstration, and that's an order straight from your captain. Philo, what do you say? A quick two-on-two -two match for my brother? After all, it might be good to see how we work together. Alright, let's fight. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, we are so slow. Okay boys, let's see what my guardians are made of. You're looking at a mighty blue, mighty blue in the face there, Spectre. Very funny, Captain. Don't forget, this is what both of you asked for. I feel um, don't think for a second that we're going to let off, let you off easily simply because your partner's a woman. No offense, hon. You better watch that big mouth of yours, Spectre, and try not to cry when Feel and I are finished with the two of you. Now, Tempo, pay attention. Every battler has action points. When you take damage or get a chance to act, your AP increases. Some weapons also generate AP faster. There's not much else to it. All right, Philo. Let's show these clowns who they're dealing with. All right, we're gonna engage. What do I have for an action skill? I don't have anything quite yet. Looks like it takes 35 AP. Don't have that yet, so let's attack. We're gonna concentrate on Spectre. Now for Nara, again, we don't have AP enough. Looks like that's 65 AP, so let's attack Spectre again. 23 damage. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna do that again. Go off the Spectre. We still don't have enough AP. Oh, you avoided it. Now let's take some damage. So we're gonna engage. We do have this out. So wait for one turn, then unlock a special attack that results in heavy damage to an enemy. So we're gonna focus. We don't have enough AP for that. So we're gonna attack the Spectre again. Let's see, use this steal ability. Can't. Now I can. Oh boy, attack up. Summon blow. Unleash your inner fury with the special attack that requires waiting for one turn. Oh wait, what? I thought I already did that. Alright, action skill. We're gonna steal. What are we gonna steal from? Spectre. Max revive. Nice. In the name of Rosedale Village Guardsman. I command you return that to me right now. Sorry, hon. But Elder Karameki gave that gave that to me. Give it back. He's gonna cry. So he actually like waits two turns. I thought it was only supposed to be one. So wait for one turn and then unlock the lock special. Yeah, like then he has to wait again. That's that's crazy. 
Alright, you've already done that. Can we take this guy out? He's gotta be hurt. So yeah, I'll, I'll do this. Yeah, you can't do it. I, I, I did, I did use it. You did not see that? So he's, he's focused, his attack is increased. Now if I go to, oh, special? All right, maybe, only sure if you're the special, one a turn, yeah. Requires another turn to wait, so it's actually two turns. That's a lot of turns. Yeah, it's quite a bit of turn. I can't even use this. Sixty. Oh, cow! That's a lot of damage. Dude is still alive. How's it possible? All right, we're gonna steal from Nico. What do we got? What do we got? 100 payloads. Hey, those are my wages for last week. How dare you, thief? Nice work, sis. Carnival. Please, make a stop. I can't take anymore. I've been brought. It hurts. It hurts. Someone help me. But I just needed to really just steal from both of them, possibly. Oh, they're, they're, they're chasing each other. <laughs> That's enough. The truth is that I already had seen her use that skill in Ferlene Woods. I just wanted to see her use it on you two. Do I keep the stuff, though? That's what I really want to know. Ah, don't look so down, boys. It was only 100 Palos. Remember, to a man such as yourself, such a measly amount is surely nothing worth getting upset over. That was so cool. You made diced potatoes out of them. Eh, you like that, kid? You can call me Tampo, sir. Well, Tampo, when you get a little bit older, you should consider joining the village guardsmen. I can teach you all sorts of useful combat skills. Really? Wow. All right. But now I think I could use a drink. What do you say, boys? I guess I owe you both a beer. Or three. Feel Nara. Are you sure... That you'll be alright in the woods by yourselves. Yeah, we'll manage. Don't hesitate to reach you back here anytime if you find yourselves in the beginning to feel overwhelmed. Okay, over and out. To the pub. Be careful, sis. Don't you worry about me, Tempo. Now, run along back into town. I'll come and find you when I return. You too, Mr. Philo. Good work back there. Here, Philo. Take these. I snatched them from King Kinkaju earlier. You never know what kind of items monsters may be carrying around. Ooh, green herbs. Very cool. Now, let's get a move on. All right. Whoa. Holy cow. The Feraline Woods. All right, that is going to do it for today. Uh, looks like uh, there aren't any random encounters. You actually see the enemies on the map, which is freaking awesome. I like that already. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, that is going to do it for today. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And don't forget to visit kingdom of neandria went over all of it how in the beginning how to find it please check them out i will be giving this a little bit more of a look see down the line um i'll try to get to it sooner rather than later um yeah and uh yes please like share subscribe as i've said goodbye